Hello everybody, do you remember me? I am Miss Jackie. Well, our topic is clocks, remember? But today I'm going to explain you how to describe clocks in present progressive and in third person. We are going to use present progressive to describe and talk about what is happening right now, in this moment. The verb in present progressive always finishes with ing. For example, if in this moment I'm going to jump, to describe that action, I'm going to say, I am jumping. Do you see? The verb finishes with ing. The verb is the action. Another example is, if in this moment I'm going to dance, I have to say, I am dancing. Dance is the verb. The present progressive is dancing. Do you see? The verb, the action, finishes with ing. For that reason, I'm going to say I am dancing because it's what happened right now in this moment. But today we are going to talk about of a specific verb. It's work. But in present progressive, it's wearing so we are going to talk about what are people wearing and the first example is with me look at me what am i wearing i'm wearing a white and black hoodie do you see well now i'm going to tell you and explain you how to talk about and describe in third person. Come on. Well, we are going to use first the pronoun and then the verb to be and the verb in present progressive. Remember, the verb in present progressive always finishes with ing. In this case, we are going to learn to describe in third person. The third person is he and she. Let's start with he. We use he for boys, remember? Well done. I'm going to tell you an example of the structure of a sentence about what is he wearing because our topic is clothes. Look at this boy and tell me, what is he wearing? So, the sentence is like this. First, is the pronoun, and it is he. Then, is the verb to be, and it is it. Then, is the verb in present progressive and the verb is wearing and finally describe the cloth color of the cloth and which cloth is so the sentence is he is wearing a blue jacket let's practice and describe his pants he is wearing black Hands. Now, let's go with she. Remember, we use she for girl. It is the same. First is the pronoun. The pronoun is she. Then the verb to be and it is is. Then the verb in present progressive. The verb is worry. And finally, the cloth. Color of the cloth and which cloth is. So, the sentence is, she is wearing blue pants. Let's describe together her t-shirt. She is wearing a white and black t-shirt. Okay, now to be more clear and give you more examples, I will show you some typical clothes around the world. Do you know that? 
people around the world and in every country wear typical clothes. Let's see what do people wear in five countries. Come with me and watch together. China She is wearing a yellow, pink and blue dress with red flowers. A handfan in her hand and some flowers on her head. England He is wearing a red and white coat, black pants, black shoes and a furry hat. Mexico She is wearing a black, green, red, orange and white dress. She is wearing some flowers on her head. He is wearing a black jacket, a white shirt, black pants, a red belt, black shoes and a big black hat. Brazil she is wearing a colorful skirt with flowers, a pink, blue, and yellow blouse, and a green bandana on her head. Scotland. She is wearing a green and brown skirt, a black vest, a gray shirt, and brown socks. India. She is wearing a long dress. It is green and gold. She is wearing a necklace and earrings too. He is wearing a white long shirt, red pants, a white and red turban, white shoes and a red scarf. Perfect! I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, you have to create and design a typical plot about those five countries. So, enjoy your day, enjoy your mission, and see you next time. Goodbye, everybody.